How much can you spend for 30 quid? Today we're going to find out when we visit Iceland on today's vlog. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. everyone and welcome to today's vlog i hope you're all okay so yes we're gonna actually going to try and do something different today aren't we mm. um we've got 30 pound of these left to shop vouchers again obviously we save up for them throughout the using for christmas and this is what we've got left over from last year so we thought right we'll pop into iceland and see what we can actually get for 30 pound our budget is actually 30 pound we can't go over can we so it's just going to be fun to see what we can actually get. Stephen's got his, the, his phone for calculator and we can see what sort of maintenance and stuff we can get. So this is going to be fun trying to do a budget food shop. Mm -hmm. So come and join us for this. I'll um, also show you what sort of offers they've got on the Iceland as well. And then when we get back we'll show you what we actually brought for our £30. Oh, they look nice. Look at them, 80p. 90p. 90p, they look nice, yeah. don't they? So, yeah, so... Um, we'll see you. Oh, we'll see oh, Iceland well. have actually got their cans on four for £32 or their £8.50 each. So I suppose if you drink a lot of drinks and sit on like fizzy drinks, they are quite a good offer. You've got the Tango 7-Up. Then you've also got the normal Coke, Coke Zero and the Pepsi. No, the Pepsi Max, yes it is, Pepsi Max is on the offer. You actually save up to £6 on them as well. And then also over here you've got the like the big deal, you've got three for eleven pound. This what they're four fifty each and you save two fifty, get wheat bits, cornflakes and cocoa pops. So those are pretty good as well. I've got the little normal cans of coke. So I was even putting in my got again if they want eggs. <laughs> so they've got their eggs and stuff like that here. What they've got on the reduced price section over here, so sometimes that's a good thing actually, isn't it? To get value for your money, you buy the reduced okay. price things. And you can obviously stick them in the freezer. There's some hot cross buns as well, 70p. You can freeze them. Um, yeah, got some large slice rolls, 85p. Have they got any of the bread here that Sammy likes? Warburton's. Oh yeah, oh, that's only a that's only a small loaf. It's not a point, no point for that for 84p though, is it? So, what's the matter? We've got what we want the sofa. £2.55. On £2.55, how many items have you brought? Four? Three. 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 I suppose that's not mm. too bad, is it? Mm. This is probably when you guys start to get expensive there with the meat price products and that sort of thing, isn't it? Mm. So yeah, since that pack of chicken. Quite 25 quid for that pack of chicken. That's massive, right? It is, it is really big. Here you go, darling. What are these? These are okay. Chicken breast fillets, £2.50. Again, we can stick those in the freezer. But, for, uh, thingy tonight. but then again, I can do that chicken and mushroom thing tonight. So that'd be right. They can go in as well. So it looks like they're doing a two for seven or three for nine pound on their meat products. Okay, darling. Got some burgers to do for two pounds seventy. If you want some of them, bacon. Yeah. you get some bacon. You get some bacon for a pound. Um, also got here mints. Thing is, you might as well try and get some frozen mints. You don't need mints because you've got mints. At home. I know I've got mints at home, but there's nothing wrong with frozen mints, is there? Tell you what, these have certainly gone up. Remember when we used to buy them? They used to be a pound each, mm. or two fifty each. Now they're on two for four. So the idea is to get things for thirty pound for meals. We can actually use as well. So look at these. These Greg sausage rolls, an eight pack of five pound seventy five now. What are these? Sausage bean. And cheese melts are only two pounds. The thing is, I want to try and go for the Iceland branded stuff, which is cheap. Go for the Iceland branded stuff, which is cheap. Yeah, see what we can actually. Then we're all right for oil and stuff as well. 
um, the sausage rolls, the quiche. So yeah. Oh, that's, oh no, so it's chicken tikka size, which is reduced to 50p. I'll tell you what, the Harry Ramsden range here at Iceland is really nice. Again, see if they don't touch, which I'm not going to because, again, it's out of a challenge at the minute. Because you can see, well, at one portion of butter, the Harry Ramsden's Jumbo Butter Cod is actually £6.50, believe it or not. Maybe we should rename this vlog Surviving Half Term with 30 quid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and even at the Cathedral City, they've got their own range. Again, these are really nice. And again, fortunately, not going to go to these at the minute. But they're actually, they're actually on three for ten pounds as well. So I suppose you are. Guess when you're for a pound. Um, I say get, so get the cheese because Sam still got some of the little, Sam still got some of the yogurts at home. Yeah. But they're not too bad. Oh, they're two ninety nine each. That's too, That's too expensive, isn't it? <laughs> Tell you what, this is going to be hard, and I mean, this is going to be really hard. Seven pound five, when we've only got that little basket full. Yeah, and that's going for cheap items. But if yeah, and you've actually got here, you've got some. Uh, thank God it's Friday range. They're three for ten pounds, but they again, I never actually had been to DJ Fridays before. Um, that's what long here. Well, they sound nice, darling. Well, not put them, well, except for they're out of our budget at the minute. Yeah, TJ Friday's pepperoni mini skins, get three get fifty. Get away from branded products. Yes, I am. Don't worry, I am. So yeah, you can see the fruit is on any two for three pounds. I know we've still got some in the fridge, actually, don't we? But we have put in a packet of apples reduced to sixty p. Um, we've got some at home, so in the fridge. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Bananas. Do I get some bananas for a pound? They're on two for three, no, they're on two for three. Again, got some frozen veg as well, and it might be cheaper to get some branded um, ice and veg. So tilt they've also got down here as well. Nuggets and dippers. Let's see. Um, what are they? Any three for ten pounds? Gourmet Easter bunnies, three fifty each. Put for next day. Tomato sauce. Okay, we'll go for the cheaper range, yeah? <laughs> That's what I've got down here. Like all the, it just goes to prove actually the branded products are expensive. Tomato sauce, here we go. Daddy's, a, what's that? The loyalty card. I need one, again, we haven't, we haven't got the um, loyalty card, so I don't know what it's actually like. Again, um, without bonus, it's £1.50, but with the, uh, um, oh, they're not too bad. Yeah, get them. They'll be right. Yeah, we said we're not going to go for the branded products, but it's worth saying we had the sauces with the bonus card, especially like the loyalty card. It's only a pound. Sauces, oh, I remember them. Yeah, they're certainly shrunk, aren't they? They're 2 75 each. Um, the pasta sauces on offer. For is, 350. This challenge is looking for meals for four of us, not just for our benefit, and for a meal for us. Exactly, yeah. You know, like me buying one of those. I know. That's just for one person. Exactly. So I think we're doing this, aren't we, to prove, see if we can, because at the minute we spend such a fortune on shopping anyway. Last time we came in, it gave me a headache. It did actually. So look at the mints. That's actually three for ten pound, or it's actually five pound each as well. Um, again, you don't realise when you're not on a budget, like shopping-wise, you don't realise how much um, you actually spend sometimes. So this is, I don't know, that's not too bad. You get one joint and three sides of dessert for twelve pound. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the individual prices. Oh yeah, one seventy-five. I suppose that's not too bad. What would you prefer, sticky toffee, or would you prefer jam? I prefer sticky toffee, actually, to be honest with you. But then again, just looking at this actual um, thing we do, because that, this is actually that's actually a meal for all four of us. It's only twelve pound. Because if you get, you get three sides as well. Yeah, but we've only got thirty pound. I know. Oh yeah, we've only got thirty pound, haven't we? That's the point. Yeah, yeah. That is the point, actually. And what else we got round here? Got some chocolate. Chocolate's not the last section to, section to this budget. There you go, Dan. I've got some. Oh, I've got some sausages there. They're only £2. Those Richmond sausages. 
if you want some of them. If you go across there. Or you go across here, these are £2.15 and you've got 32 in there. So that's, the rolls, yeah, they're, like, they're £2.15, you've got 32 in there. Yeah, the Richmond. That's too hard. The Richmond ones are £2 and you've got 20 in there, so technically you're better off value buying those. Yeah, but these are, these are thin ones, aren't they? Yeah. But you've got more value. We're not being nasty, we don't need sausages because we've got sausages okay, at home. Okay, got sausages at home. So, but what I'm trying to say is, Dave, better value wise, you're better off getting those. Yeah, I know, but we don't need sausages. Yeah, so we've got the party range here, which is on three for five pounds. We've got some cheddar cheese popcorn bites, they're three for five. We've got some chicken gulagons as well. So, I suppose if you want to get these, these could do a meal for all of us. Well, not so much them because obviously they've got the gluten in that Ben can't have gluten. So, but yeah. These pizzas aren't too bad, are they? They're three for five. Anything that you fancy? You don't want to... Do you want some, um... Timmy Dick, have got some wraps for a pound? No? So what I am looking for, actually. See, so they've got any, um... What do we call it? Any of uh, the, um... The sandy sauces and stuff. There you go, this is the, um... It's supposed to be gluten-free, or it's, well, it's meat-free, actually. So sometimes they have actually got gluten-free products on here as well. They're quite expensive though, actually, aren't they, those ones are? Darling, do we need any rice? So that's not too bad, actually, is it? Oh, that's actually, that's £2.25 just for eight bags. So sometimes you're probably better off going to get, like, the CP brands and stuff, what they've got here. Meat-free burgers. Vegan mince pie steaks and onion. Again, you look them up. Which one? No, we normally have the um, other one, don't we? And they've got, oh, doesn't think they've got any left actually, have they? Well, these aren't too bad actually. Look, any four for £4.50, the home pride things. Got pasta bake. Are they no, actually? I don't want four. I don't want four. Have mm. they got wheat in them? No, they've got wheat in them. Spank so them. Get that for bed and be like, so we don't want. No, actually, you can mix and match. Look, all the way down here. Big fish things. It is actually what are these Scottish mussels. Again, that's actually um, they're actually three pounds seventy five just for one. She got in here chicken, mushroom, and bacon see pasta. I, see what I mean? We've got to this stage point in in, in here, and we've not really got halfway yet. I know. And we're nearly at the end of all the freeze wine. Exactly. We ain't gone, we, no, we've got the potato ones to do yet. So. We've got potato ones to do yet. So yeah. And we've actually got to fifteen pounds something odd now, haven't we? I know. I know. That's the thing. What are these? Like we've got all these dinners, but the thing is, we've got a realisation there. What are they two? Serving one, isn't it? That's, that's just one. Person. That's just that's yeah. That is just one person only. Yeah. That's not too bad though. That cottage pie. No, that's way over budget. That's way over budget. That's £4.50. The problem with Iceland, they don't do a budget range of like, beans or... They don't, do they? Spaghetti. No, they don't. What about no, these? What's this for 50p? Hunger baked baked beans. There you go, you got some... Um, there you go. Baked beans and sausages. Yeah. Oh, there you go. What are these ones? All day breakfast for £2? I'll tell you what, let's get a couple... All day breakfast is two quid. I know. So it's 50p is the baked beans. beans. And yeah. 85p the yeah. ones with the sausages in. So if yeah. I get two of these, two of those, yeah. what do you want? The baked beans for the sausages, yeah? Is there beans on their own then? Yeah, beans and tomato sauce. Yeah, get those. I get those yeah. instead, yeah? Only 50p. Get two beans. So if I put those ones back yeah. and get the baked beans in sausages. So That's they it. Beans on their own. They are baked beans on their own. Yeah, so it's too much. So what are these ones? Actually, these aren't too bad, actually. These are Ed's Diner ones. That's a hot dog there. That's actually... Oh, that's oh, that big one. That's £2.65. The thing is, and then you go down to the cheaper one, not here, and then it's just like one meal. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Got the pound range here. For, Anything in there you want, fancy? Um, I think I've got an E, actually. Tenderstein broccoli for a pound. But look at these ones. Like, these ones are actually... Three pound each, or any two for four pound, and one you can actually. What do you if you get? I don't know. You go down here, you can actually get them for a pound. It's probably better to get these ones. Here we go. How does that one serve? 
<laughs> Didn't it say? Has it got? Has it got no wheat in it? Has it? That's the thing up there. The frozen, the fresh stir fry was expensive. If you come down here, it's one pound seventy-five for five hundred grams. You've also got this from this one. This is a stir fry mix as well. Mixture of peppers, bean sprouts, sugar snap peas, mushrooms, onions, baby corn, and bamboo shoots. So we get one of these, yeah? We get the mushroom one. So let's double check. Has it got no wheat in so Ben can have it as well? No, it hasn't got. Yeah, so. So what, get one of those as well, yeah. That's, that can go in our basket. And then over here, got some vegetable casserole mixes, cauliflower cheese mixed vegetables, they're only a pound. So the, let's get one of the, let's get some mixed veg. Again, that's only a pound for that. And up there, they were a pound just for one. That's they got down here, egg fried rices and stuff. But cereal. Put them in as well, then, yeah. What about those critical potatoes? How much are they? Well, they're 175. So, get two packets of the rice pota potatoes. What about the potato croquets? Don't want mashed potatoes. Don't mash potato, do we? No. Anyway, we're just looking at the range they've got in here now. Obviously, you've got the hula hoop crisps, um, potato things. The kids absolutely love those, but they're actually £2.50 each. When you've got stupid name prices going to stupid prices. It is actually. Mm. And you've also got like the Raiders, what are they? They're pickled onion. Again, they're two pound. Say two pound. Okay. Pickled onion ones are only two pound, but the salty ones are two pound fifty. So then you've also got like the McCall, they are the flame um, steak ones. The look at these, the baked bean ones, they're actually three pound. Believe it or not, a bit expensive what they are. Again, okay, with the potato waffles. I'm missing a price on guys, so I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. I don't know the price there is, sir. The hash brown waffles, oh, they're different. They're new. They're £1.75. So yeah, I imagine they might be like that, aren't they? Anyway, we'll get a packet of these to see how much they actually are, anyway. They haven't got a price on them, so we'll ask them in a bit when um, we go to the till how much they actually are. So yes, we can see if they've got a basket each. Chips. What do you want for chip wise, darling? What have you found there? That, that's only a pound. Steak chips. Oh well, okay, that's good. That's good for a pound, isn't it? Some cheesy hash browns here, they're actually three pound, believe it or not. Got oh, these curly fries. So yeah. Um, we haven't really got, as you can see, we haven't really got enough for four meals for us for a week. What really? is our total so far? Right. You can see that. £25. £25. We've got £5 left of our budget. Um, actually, that passes only that passes only 75p. But then again, did you put did you put some of that pasta in there, didn't you? Yeah. But you get more in that one when you do that one. Mm. So um, this is actually on offer. This is actually two for one pound fifty or one fifty each. Two for two fifty. That's what I say. Two for two, two fifty. So yeah. that will actually do two meals. Yeah. Um, get spaghetti. You get for spaghetti. No, we've got spaghetti at home, I think. No, I don't think we have. But could you? You put some pasta in, haven't you? Yeah. So what I can do is I can always do um, spaghetti bolognese. But I can always do it with normal pasta rather than spaghetti. You got mince, mince in the fridge. Got mince in the fridge. You've got this. And that. There. That's tonight's tea. That's tonight's tea, yeah. And Ben's got his own. He uh, has, hasn't he? Home. He has, yep. Yeah. So I think that's practically done then, isn't it? So that's 150 for that. 150 for yeah, that. Those, and then 250 for that, yeah. Because they don't seem to have any. That's one thing, they haven't, don't seem to have very many of their own branded products anymore, do they? It all seems to be a lot cheaper. Right. Put, these in your Put those in my basket. My basket is down here. That's it. That's it. So what we'll yeah, how much have we got so far? Right, we've got a pound left. A pound left? Yeah. Okay. So we've done really enough, well. Is that enough to buy the carrier back to it? Probably. Yeah. From Iceland and I'll just show you what we've got. Um, as you can see it's not an awful lot, is it? No. It's there's no way you could actually do a full shop at Iceland for four of us on 30 quid, could we? No way. So I'm just gonna show you what we brought. Um, we did go over, as you can see if I hide that one there, because our details are, you can see, actually went to £32.70 in the end, but um, £1.20 of that was actually carrier bags, 
and the chips, these ones, when we picked them up, it only said a pound on the shelf, but they actually scanned it at two pounds. Yeah. So that's where we went wrong. But apart from that, I don't think we've done... I'm sure the label said a quid. It does say a quid, actually. But as you can see, we haven't actually done too bad, really, for this, really. But it was hard, wasn't it? It was you really... obliterated those £30 vouchers in, like, two or three items. They could, um, especially with yeah. the TDI Friday things yeah. and that offer they got with the joint and meat three <coughs> size and a pudding for 15 quid. That would have been half our budget. That's enough. That's just one meal, isn't it? That's just one meal. So, yes, we have got quite a bit. I say we have got enough here for probably about two meals, yeah. probably. So, yes, I'll show you what we brought anyway. We brought the um, three pizzas. We brought the... Um, Cheese and tomato one here, so you can see they're only a pound. Put the double pepperoni one here as well, and the cheese and ham one here. Um, got some mushroom stir fry again. This was how much was this one then, darling? I think how much it was actually. If I got the receipts as well, mushroom stir fry was you can't find what it is on there now, <laughs> one pound fifty. That mushroom stir fry was, so yeah, this wasn't too bad. You see, got two packets of the donuts, got a chocolate packet here for 90p, and also got like one of these ones here, the, the white ones with the sprinkles on the top for 90p. Got some croissants for 75p <laughs> as well. These are reduced, they weren't too bad actually, to be honest with you. Um, they last a few days in the fridge. Got a packet of yogurts for a pound, got some cherry tomatoes for them for 50p again. But then being off now, he's going to eat this like crazy. Yeah, like I said, these are the steak truck chips. They should have been a pound, but it's kind of two pound. We didn't realise until we come out and we checked the receipt. So, have to be careful, didn't you? <coughs> Bless you, darling. Yeah, season. season. Yeah. yeah. Um, got some apples. Again, 60p. Yeah. Got some mixed vegetables. These were only a pound, weren't they? Um, got some these cabbage troco sandwiches. These were a pound. Got bacon rashers. I don't know there's only five in there. They were a pound. Got the ragu pasta, which was £1.50. Got the creamy chicken pies, which are, they were £2.25, £2.75, I think they were. Got the ragu sauce here, they were on offer two for... What were they on? Two, where are they? Two for £2.50. Oh yeah, they were on two for £2.50 as well. This was pretty good, because obviously that would deal us two meals. Got some dry chicken here as well. It's, I know it's got reduced by today's date, but what I do is I sit that in the freezer, and that's two pound fifty. Got sandwich jam, obviously for him. Got two tins of baked beans for fifty p. Got some of these two quarter pounders. Again, that'll be right for one of us. Got some sketchy for one pound fifty. Roast potatoes and some bananas. So yeah, you can see it's not on. Wasn't once, enough. once again with Iceland, there wasn't a single chiller or fridge that could give you gluten free stuff. No, there wasn't. No. So, yes, yeah, so you can see, so it's not an awful lot whatsoever. So, we said what we're going to do is keep the receipt. As you can see, we've got 30 items there, but four of those are actually carrier bags. So, you've got 26. How many items we got then? How many items did we get? Got 26 items. So, I suppose that's not too bad. Yeah, because there's 30 items, it said. Yeah, but I thought it was in the carrier bag, wouldn't it? Yeah, so I'm saying, mm. yeah. So you've got 26 items here for £30. So, yeah, um, so what we're going to do is... So we did a 30 quid shot and we went a quid over. Yeah, so yeah. that's because of these chips, wasn't it? Yeah. So we said what we're going to do is we're going to probably try one of the budget supermarkets next mm. and see if there is a difference, aren't we? Yeah. So we're going to, like I said, keep this receipt and then we're going to see what the difference is. Yeah. yeah, but like I said, I really enjoyed that challenge, didn't you? Really, really did. But yeah, so this is another look at what we actually got. Let me see, are we doing a Cops for Wildlife Park page? Yeah. <laughs> you don't go there, it's a bit cold for there, isn't it? But we'll definitely go there in the summer, won't we? Yeah. It's really nice, that is, isn't it? It does actually, doesn't it? We're watching Helen and Martin. Where are they gone? They've gone to some wildlife park near them, haven't they? So, anyway, one thing Sammy likes about um, Cottesville Wildlife Park is those giraffes, isn't it? The big, massive giraffe walk through. Was it last year? We went on the year before where they touched your hair, they're sniffing your hair, wasn't they? Yeah. 
Yeah. So, yeah. Look at Formley Hall. Oh, yeah. Did they have like a Formley Hall seat out? Is it called Formley Hall? Is it Tomley Hall? I don't know what it's called. I don't know, but it's some sensory outdoor activity centre, isn't it, for kids? So, how look at Thormley Hall seat out? Yeah, so just looking at activities and stuff to do next week during, I'll say, yeah, it is next week during the holidays. Because what's it now, Sammy, you finished for? Half term. We're finished for half term, yeah. haven't we? Formley Hall. Formley Hall. We've been here before, haven't we? Mm. How far is it anyway? I'm not too quite sure. Destination. So that anyway, feet up, what have you been doing at school today? That's my mum's lessons. You know my lessons? Yeah. It's yeah. Friday again. It's Friday's. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, well, since you got up this morning, you played it's Friday again. Saturday, Sunday, what? Like, like I said, I didn't realise that was actually a proper song until Sam started singing it. But anyway, what have you done at school today? I just did my usual. Just do your usual. No. But do I just show an old video of you when you were little when you used to say what you used to do? I know. Yeah. It's, it's, you used it's, to sit there and used to go through everything. You used to. Well, he's a teenager now, though, isn't he? So yeah. he'll tell it in his own time what he's done. But anyway, did you do assembly today? Yeah. Just think yeah. about what you got after when you go back. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You've got loads of stuff to do when you go back. You've got your, you got your residential strip. Harry you got, Potter. You got Harry Potter but, uh, yeah. yeah. You've got lots of fun, exciting things to do, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, it's just pass holder day coming up. Yeah, well, this hasn't been confirmed for pass holder day yet, has it? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Jumanji. We've got to go on that new Jumanji ride, haven't we? Uh, I don't think it's going to be open yet. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be open until next spring, but at least you've had a good day there, yeah? Yeah. And was Ben all right going on coming on the bus? Yeah. Yeah? It's time for some. You're playing FIFA, okay? I'll just start doing dinner in a minute anyway. So, yeah. anyways, FIFA, you had a lovely day at school today. Yeah, yeah apparently they, obviously, like I said, on a Friday, they make their own lunch. And Ben helped. What did he have today then? He had a ham and cheese roll Again. and a piece of cake. Again. What do you mean? The first time it's had a piece of cake, for, it's had them to try and treat with the cake. How many times have you chosen the roll then? I know, but obviously he likes his roll, he likes his ham and cheese, don't you see that? So he's just tucking into, yeah, I'm not going to take him off of you. He's got some of these, what are these? Barbecue Raider crisps or something. So yeah, that's it then, Ben. You finished for the holidays now. That means you got, mummy hasn't got to wake you up now at seven o'clock every morning. I've waited for a week. You can have a nice song laying, can not you? Yeah. You don't you drink already this week, Tom? Are you thirsty to come in? Well, then, guys, Friday has come to an end, and it also is now time for half term week. Yeah. Yeah, can you believe we've gone through one term of the year already? Six weeks have gone since the new year. Absolutely crazy how that time has passed so quickly. But anyway, yeah, today we started to meet new. We're doing the £30 food shop challenge. So, over the course of the coming weeks, we're going to see what we can actually buy for 30 quid from other supermarkets so we did Iceland today and that proved proved today that we were sticking to a budget where we kept to uh, buying items that were two quid and under so just to see how much we could actually buy for for 30 quid and um, basically there wasn't really much that we could buy for 30 quid I said to Cheryl, we could have bought 15 pizzas and 15 bags of roast potatoes, couldn't we, in theory? We could have done. Just, just for the price of it. But tell you what, there's no way we could do a £30 shop at Iceland to last all four of us for the week. No, no, no because um, Iceland have got an issue now where they've got branded products in there like Greg's, TGI Fridays. What else is in there, Cheryl? Remind me. Um, there's that. Um, do you know to Campio's put his pizzas in there? Yeah. They got that cheese company. What's it called? Oh, Cathedral City. Cathedral City stuff as well. Yeah. And um, other things as well, which were just like five or six quid, weren't they? Like really high in price. Yeah. Just... I'll tell you, we could have blew that thirty quid in like just a matter of seconds, couldn't we? Because By just shit. buying just one meal for one day, really. It's like that. Um, what do they call it? Range. The um, not Ben and Matthews. Other range we buy. I can't remember what you're going on about. 
you know, they did the sticky coffee puddings you like. Oh, the uh, Aunt Bessie's. Aunt Bessie's. Yeah. See, don't forget they had that meal on there. It was quite good, but it was quite good offer actually in one way. Yeah, but that's just one meal for the one day. I know it is. Yeah. So the thing is, I said, if we wouldn't have probably, if we hadn't done that challenge, we probably would have bought ourselves doing that. But that was 15 quid. That was, you bought um, a joint of meat, a beef, lamb, there was a turkey. And this chicken that was always not there. Yeah. You brought three, you guys, and three sides. So you could have had like two veggies and obviously put them for 15 quid. So if we'd have done that, that would blew our budget straight away. Yeah, yeah. And I also was going around with the calculator on my phone to make sure we didn't go over or, or what. The only thing we did go over on was just those chips, wasn't it? It okay. had the, it did have a price of one pound on the. Uh, on the, the on the ticket, and then we got to the till. It was t t two pounds. Two pounds, yeah. So we went over by a pound. We went over by a pound, yeah. So, as you saw, there wasn't really much there to really uh, shout about. Really, it just comes to show you how expensive Iceland are. The food warehouse is really, really expensive, especially on certain certain lot of items in there. If you're buying for a family of four, and that's what we were doing today. We wasn't buying individually, just for me or Cheryl. Or Ben or Sammy. Not if, I suppose if you're a couple or a person by yourself, then you can do a shopping. Yeah, but this is for a family of four. Family of four, yeah. yeah. So, yes, yeah, so comment down below what supermarket we should try next. In our local area, we've got. Um, I'll try any supermarket next. Of course, yeah, because yeah. we can also. Oh, yeah, because what have you got? We've got Morrison's. Yeah, I'll try any supermarket next. Yeah. You know, name your next supermarket you want us to go and see what we can actually buy for 30 quid and see what we can come back with what i'm gonna do but is it's got to be proper meals guys it can't be junk food like microwave meals, meals or, or like things like that so what i'm actually doing is i've actually kept the tour receipt from iceland yeah um once we've done all the shopping we can compare all the all the tour receipts and see what actually we've actually got yeah so there and we then go we will actually see what is britain's cheapest supermarket we will see if aldi and Lidl are the cheapest yeah Anyway guys, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. See you tomorrow for Merlin Trip Time. Bye, Bye guys.